Hello again, I'm Becky. Hello again, I'm Becky, and today I'm gonna to be building a hydraulic robotic arm, which I bought for 17 bucks from American Science and Surplus in Chicago. It's billed as a build-it-yourself working hydraulic arm. I don't know anything about how hydraulics work, except that they involve fluid and air, so I'm going to build this. The reason I picked this up is that I'm designing a kit for kids right now. And I've never actually had a chance to build one of these. When I was a kid, I wasn't really exposed to science very much. Sexism. But I'm excited to build this today, both on behalf of my childhood self and also as research for the product that I'm building. The back of it says, an easy to assemble three-dimensional model kit to help our budding engineers get their start. It's easy to make in about an hour, made of sturdy die-cut plywood with an MDF base and strengthens visual, spatial, and fine motor skills and gives hands-on building experience. It can be used in a group or individually with the syringe holder and it includes all the parts and glue. So it looks like the materials that are included in this kit are die-cut wood, MDF, some foam pads, some mass-produced syringes, and some plastic tubing for liquids, and some rubber bands, and some rubber gaskets. All very industrially produced materials, so no wonder they can keep the cost low at $17. It's from Pathfinders, and it's good for ages eight and up, which is the age range that I'm going for with my kit. So let's do a little unboxing. All right, they use Comic Sans. <laughs> so let's have some learning. Robotic arms are widely used in the manufacturing process to do repetitive motions in the making of goods like cars and electronic devices. These arms can do many tasks, from grasping and moving things, as this one does, to spot welding parts as they move by on a conveyor belt. A robotic arm can be very accurate and programmed to do many jobs that would be boring and difficult for humans to do. Your arm will be able to grasp, lift, and move and place items. And if you're good, you can move mice around. Mice? So it looks like the learning beyond this kit is kind of smushed onto these big walls of text. Um, I'm interested to, to come back to these after I build it and see if they have more meaning for me. All right, so we've got our parts list here. And by the way, pardon me, it's not Comic Sans, it's just a typeface that looks almost exactly like it. It's funny though, because this is a very industrial set of instructions. I mean, they're very formal, but then they have this, I guess, child-friendly typeface. Let's get started. It is very nicely packed, isn't it? There seems to be a lot of hardware in here and small dowels, small pieces, and wood glue. No, white glue, which is wood glue the smaller mechanical pieces of the plywood and then the larger wood pieces. This is very thin and lightweight wood and it is stamp cut. And here's the MDF base. Okay, so unfortunately the first parts of the kit did not record, but I did glue up some of the pieces and I made this kind of base for the stand. I've noticed that this thing has really excellent friction fit tolerances. I wouldn't say this glue is dry. Maybe I put too much on. All of these things have funny little faces. Okay, so now I'm supposed to flip all of this over. All right. <laughs> Again, these are a lot of little complicated pieces, you know, okay. And if this is for eight-year-olds, then I feel pretty confident about the age range that I'm aiming for, which is eight years old. Okay, now I'm reaching for the O-rings. These tiny little buddies. Oh, okay, I dropped one. Okay, this is pretty clever. And then it wants me to put this guy, which is also a very funny face. Hey, guys. <laughs> And then more glue. I added too much glue. <laughs> it's a Viking queen. <laughs> All right. Here's one of the mechanisms. Okay, so now I'm supposed to take the white elastic band and put it on one of the syringes. It says double or even triple. This is so complex. Whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> so far this looks like some torture device. It does work though. Wow. This is marvelous. Okay, this thing's pretty fragile, so I'm gonna let the wood glue dry for at least 30 minutes, like the instructions say. We shall meet again. All right, and now it's a snack time, so I already ate my snack, and this isn't a mukbang, so I guess I'm just gonna hang out for 30 minutes. Okay, so that has been plenty of time for drying. The next steps are to this, the little wheel thing, and then add glue so that the disc is snug, but not so tight that the base doesn't turn. And then let the glue dry at the end. Okay. Did I lose one of the dowels? Okay, well, either I lost one of the dowels or it never came with. Uh, I went into the shop to figure out if I had a dowel in the same dimensions, and I didn't, but I did have a little acrylic rod. So I cut it down to size, and now I have a, uh, a bit of a bionic hydraulic arm. There we go. This is the stylish one. It's like a little bouquet of flowers. All right, we have these guys. Oh, this was it. <laughs> this is another syringe holder. Oh, the lighting is horrible. That lighting will just have to do. The other thing about this kit is that it identifies everything by centimeters long, but it doesn't give you a centimeter ruler. So I don't wanna make that mistake for kids. O-rings. Maybe this isn't a problem for eight-year-olds, but I feel like I'm gonna break this thing. I would love to meet whoever designed this. Add a drop of glue. Okay, I'll add a drop of glue. <laughs> the next part says, remember this? <laughs> yes, I do remember this. <laughs> okay, I can do that. This thing is becoming a thing. Look at that. Ooh, this thing's bigger than I thought. Ooh. My God, these things are gonna gouge my eyes out. <laughs> Mechanisms. <laughs> wow. I'm like freaking out. I, am I proud of myself? I think I'm proud of myself. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so I've got three of these. And it says, fill the syringes with water. Okay, a bowl of water. Nice. I finally got all the bubbles out. No bubbles here. Well, I definitely got better at that as time went on. Some syringe holder. Everything about this is about just securing what needs to be secured and leaving loose what needs to be left loose. It is hard. Can you tell I'm having fun? By the smile on my face. That's the thing about kits is they teach you about the struggle and the hard work that goes into actually accomplishing anything. Now it says to put the medium one up through here. Now I'm adding two white elastic bands over the plunger. This is by far the hardest part. Uh, okay, I think there's one more step. Attach the last tube. 
They seem to think it's really important to have no bubbles. But the thing is, I've got bubbles. I'm like squirting water all over the place. It's got some bubbles. All right, whatever. It's good enough. It's good enough. Ugh. This is the hardest part. I can tell. How am I not going to break this? Yeah, now I know why Jenna Marbles doesn't build robotics kits. Okay, I've got it started. I'm calling this officially good enough. Now I'm adding the pads. Ooh. Now I'm putting foam onto the little gripper pads. Okay. I think this thing is done. It's only taken like six hours. I took breaks, but I had to to let the glue dry. Okay, I'm gonna go pee and then I'm gonna test this. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing and fun. Okay, so you can tell by my face that I'm amazed right now. This is awesome. <laughs> what can I test it on? What about this box of uh, Scotch Lock butt connectors? Whoops. Yes, now lift. And move. <laughs> okay, this thing is very fun. That thing doesn't work. I can't believe it's still holding it. <laughs> this is pretty hard to operate one-handed, but... Oh. It's so sweet and gentle. And now it's in my hand. So here's the deal. The function of this is, is who cares? The point is that I get to operate this thing. It's like a real life mechanical video game. I really like this thing. This thing's amazing. Okay, I have to glue this thing in. Listen, this thing would have been really fun as a kid. I would have felt really accomplished. I feel really accomplished. Hydraulics are a very simple concept, aren't they? But by building this myself and understanding the mechanisms that can happen in an articulated arm, I'm so excited by it and I can actually operate this thing and I can imagine it at scale. It's just a bunch of plungers and vacuums and syringes at scale. I mean, look at this. That is so cool. What else can I lift? This is delightful, really delightful. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Kit designed in Canada by Pathfinders, made in Taiwan by Sab Matt, but copyright Derek Wolf. Good job, Derek Wolf. You can check out their website at www.pathfindersdesign.com. And I can't believe it was only $17. $17 is really not much money for the amount of learning that I had through here and the amount of time that I spent really employed in learning and also just how much fun it was at the end. I'm not quite sure what to do with this now, but I'm pretty pleased with it. Thanks for watching me build this hydraulic robotic arm today. I had a lot of fun with you, especially at the end. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you'd like to support my channel. I upload new videos every week. And if you have any ideas about what you'd like me to build or experiment with in the future, leave a comment below. And you can check out my Instagram at Becky Marshall Design. And I will see you next time. And this is what's stealing our jobs. <laughs>